It's from a book by a, a guy named Tommy Iger. Uh, great, great drum book. He's got, uh, he's released two of them. It's called Groove Essentials 1 and 2, and it goes through 100 beats that like, every drummer should know and covers all styles. So it just really broadens your musical vocabulary, which is, if you want to be a successful player, it's something to really look at. I don't think that's the most I can be. The jazz was still going. <laughs> but it, great books by Tommy Iger. You can probably, you know, Ryan, if you're interested, you can probably get that, I'm sure, at RNA Music. Um, but it's really cool. It's got these play along tracks. So you learn the groove, it's got charts. Um, so you can, you know, it has the charts up there for you to follow, which will help you when you're, you get in that situation. Um, the churches that I've played at, you know, also used to getting. I was about to say cassettes, uh, CDs, and uh, I was used to that. And then all of a sudden, it was like, okay, yeah, show up. We got, uh, you know, we'll have a chart. And I was like, what? So I had to learn to read charts. But it's that kind of stuff. Like I said, you don't have to do that to be a successful musician. There's guys out there that don't do that. But like I said, it, it helps, and it'll get you work. You know, we're. You don't have to flip hamburgers. You can be out playing. You know, some guys like, I don't want to play jazz, I don't want to play in a country band. But it's a little more exciting than maybe the working at McDonald's. You know, until you get the gig you want. And again, it just creates and builds your own style. Alright, so we're gonna do this Mozambique. What was the name of the Uh uh Groove Essentials. And the author is Tommy Igo, and the last name is I-G-O-E. Group 44, Mozambique.
Sorry about that. Oh, gosh. Couldn't hear the track very well. Apologize about that. But we got it. Mine got it happening. Uh, so can I? I want to bring uh, one of my students up really quick. This this guy's been with me for like nine years. Was it nine years? Eight, nine years, maybe. Yeah. Um, and he's just one of those kids, you know, that just things came easy to him. I was like, God. So this is his take on the Mozambican. And like Ryan does with the students, like getting that, that pulse happening with the left foot, so good to build independence. And that will help you with, with uh, uh, timing too as well. Like a lot of times drummers have problems with fills. If you've got that pulsing while you're doing the fill, you're gonna come back out on one a lot better than if that wasn't there. And it fills in too, it kind of just gives it that little extra sound, you know, and you're playing, it's got a nice thing. So he's going to show you the Mozambique, and he's added what we worked on, it's called a, a weird, uh, weird roll pattern. I'm going to roll my arms for that one. And it go, it's kind of doing a splash and click with the left foot. So like, Here's like a little demo of that. So that too, that's, I use that a lot. Sometimes I'll put that in like, in a solo if I'm feeling really confident. Um, and I use it at home just for like independence exercises. I'll put that and go, let me see if I can play this beat. So this dude came to lessons one day, hey, look what I can do. So I was like, good job, man. It's good that you're trying it after you I'm trying to get it myself. Jeez. <laughs> so, Tucker, come on up and we'll give a little demo. Michael, do you, do you want uh, him to play along with that track, or is he just going to do his thing? No, he, yeah, he's just going to play it on himself. Okay, cool. Please God, let me get this. 
But it's good having students like that because it keeps you on your toes, makes you keep working. Um, do you want to do another uh, one of these style things? Yeah, uh, speaking of... We'll do, let's do the, the country one. This is a beat, and I'll, I'll play it first. It's called the train beat. Um, when, when I first moved to Texas, I was teaching at a store called Brook Mays Music in Mesquite, and the owner one day came up to me and said, hey, there's a, a club down there that needs a drummer. Thursday and Friday, do you want to do it? I'm like, yeah, sure. You know, where is it? He said, it's a place called Close Time. What kind of style of country? And I was like, oh, okay. You know, I never played country. I thought, it can't be that hard. And of course, when I got there, there was style. I was like, oh my gosh, man. I had to go and like, really learn some stuff. So one beat that I show a lot of students, and this can be used in rock and other styles, but it's real pro in, in country. So the train beat is just, uh, it's on the snare, using ghost notes and some accents, just single strokes, um, with the kick and hi-hat, kind of playing the one, one and two and three and one two. Here's it. Kind of deceptively tricky. It looks kind of simple on paper and just playing it. Again, those ghost notes against the what the feet are doing. And sometimes it can, be, it can be hard. A lot of students have the kind of struggle with it. He did. Okay, we're going to try this and maybe crank it a little bit. So here's a you know, style of country. Groove 86. This stuff by Tommy Igo, it's so helpful because you, there's no drum tracks. I mean, you're the drummer, you're playing along with these, these other instruments. So it teaches you. So when you get out there with live musicians, it's not like, you know, you're, you're kind of a little more prepared. Um, so uh, there was some other styles. I won't do any more play-alongs, but 
Um, it's just good, you know, to be versatile in your plan. Um, get into lessons. It'll help you progress much quicker. You'll cut off some years of just playing and jamming, you know, and then it's like, man, I should have taken lessons. You know, get into band at school. Um, go, go see bands play. You know, check out, there's so many things on YouTube now that you can, you know, learn so much stuff. And, you know, with me, also, it's like, you know, uh, you know uh, God really blessed me.